Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Cold Fire here and today I am going to be bringing you another interview. It's short but like I said I'm going to cover all interviews. This is a Madonna's interview with CBS for Evita promo 1996. So I want to see what this 10 minutes of question involves. So let's dive in. Evita story of a love between a girl and a dream between an actress and a politician between a country and a legend madonna antonio banderas jonathan price in an alan parker film Don't cry for me, Argentina. evita rated pg now playing at a theater near you check newspaper for showtimes this morning continue stay with us don't cry for me argentina the truth is i never left you all through my wild it's 22 till revered and reviled a saint to some a minute to others now that could apply to argentina's eva peron or the woman who plays her in evita madonna mark McEwen talked with the princess of pop culture about her latest work Princess. Stand back. You wanna know what you're gonna get in me? Just a little touch of stop quarantine. You say I was destined to play this part. Did you ever feel in your heart were you prepared to not get the role? What I what I thought, and I truly believe this, was that was that if it did if I didn't do it, it wouldn't happen. That the movie would just go away. All through my wild days, my mad existence, I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance. To do justice to the role of Evita, Madonna took singing and dancing lessons and did extensive research on the former First Lady of Argentina. In fact, there's only one way she paid lip service to the project. She and co-star Antonio Banderas recorded the soundtrack months before filming began. We took a huge risk recording the soundtrack before we filmed, and there were many times when we weren't really sure what we were doing, weren't really sure if we were making a huge mistake thought we might have to go back in the studio after it was all over again and redo everything, but it worked out. Did your career in making videos help you yes, in doing this movie? Yes, absolutely. How so? Well, she's the I best. Lip sync. <laughs> <laughs> And I think I've had a lot of experience acting to music um, and portraying a character, um, conveying emotion. Um, and I was very comfortable doing that. It's funny, I was talking to Antonio about you. We know what you let us know. Mm. I said, you've seen a side of her that we don't see. What did you learn about her? And he said that Madonna's vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Are you vulnerable? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't know you that well. You don't know? No. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know a human being that isn't. Um, and I have to say yes, but I, I feel funny saying yes because I don't. I think it's obvious. But every time it matters. How do you deal with the pressure? By that I mean, some people say Evita will be either the birth of musicals or the death of musicals. Some people say this will either make your acting career or not make it. I mean, they, there's always there's always something going on. How yeah. do you deal with that? Well, I think it helps to really believe in what in my work. Um, if I think that if you're really committed to something and you're passionate about something and you feel that you have given it your all, in the end, it doesn't matter what people say or people think. If you have pride in what you've done and a sense of accomplishment that's very personal, that, that's not reliant on other people's opinions, then you always manage to, say, to stay centered in spite of what anybody says or thinks. Where'd that come from, that steel will? 
because you've always had it. Well, I think it's I, it started with my father. I had an incredible um, upbringing in terms of. I mean, my father really instilled in me a sense of independence. And um, because I grew up without a mother, and because I had to sort of get over the heartache of not having a mother, I did say to myself so many times, I'm going, I, I will never rely on anyone. I will do it myself. And, and I will have, I will have what I want because something so important and dear to me was taken away from me at a very young age. I think I had to console myself with this and say, you know, I will survive. I will do it on my own. Madonna on motherhood. She tells Mark she knew her baby would change her life, but she never knew just how much. Plus what she th sees when she looks back on her life so far. It's 17 before the hour of 14 year old Material girl has run out of material. Here she is, Oscar contender for Evita, and off screen living out the role of a lifetime. Bad quality. Sorry. A lot of crying going on in Madonna's life right now, both on that famous balcony in Argentina and in her own home, where she and companion Carlos Leon are caring for their new baby girl, Lourdes Maria. I knew that it was going to change my life. I just didn't know how. I knew that it was going to be an incredible experience, but I had no idea that I would be so, so happy, um, that I would love anyone or anything so much. How is this little bundle of joy change how you think about yourself in this world? I care less about myself. I mean, in a way it's very liberating because you can't think selfishly anymore. And so a lot of things that bothered you, that distracted you, that annoyed you, don't really matter anymore. You said no TV? No TV. Why? Because for the most part, there's a lot of garbage on TV, and I think that it, it uh, relieves parents of the responsibility of raising their children. The babysitter. Another thing you said, you don't want her to go to an all-white school. Mm -hmm. Why? Because she doesn't live in an all-white world. Well said. <laughs> a lot of people don't even think like that. They don't even take that extra step to go there to think that yeah but i i, I don't I, I want her to be prepared i want her to be i want her to i don't want her to live a sheltered life um i want her to grow up around people who come from all walks of life and i think it's important that she go to a school where there are people like that so here i am and are you sure that i'm not supposed to be giving this to you madonna you are part of the fabric of this country. It's been now 15 years, maybe? I don't know, it feels like 100. It feels like 100. <laughs> Do you ever sit and just giggle that it all worked? I mean, it has all worked. It didn't work all the time. Um, I mean, it hasn't always been happy and fun and great. But I do sit and go, wow. I mean, especially, I don't usually do it on my own, but what happens is if people do like retrospectives of me, or they'll do like a like a thing, like when I was when it was at the Billboard Awards the other day, and Tony Bennett, you know, came out and he introduced me and did this, did this retrospective of me and he played all the, the things I had done, like videos and music and this and that. I, I mean, it did sort of. I just I did say, wow, I did all that. You know, I mean, you you do take it for granted, or you do you do forget about it. You do get very caught up in things, and you do. Um, tend to forget all the hard work and um, it, it is good to stop and pat yourself on the back. I love you and hope you love me. Sorry about this, guys. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Madonna, Oscar contender. I asked Madonna what gives her strength, that well-known steel will of her. She says her father encouraged her to be independent, and the fact that her own mother passed away at a young age forced her to be self-reliant, to fight for what she wanted and not rely on anyone else to get it. Madonna, 15 before the hour. Next, the right way to pick a stockbroker. 
Bet you Madonna. That was about that. <laughs> bet it's Madonna who knew about that. That sorry guys, that was a crappy um version, but it's the only one I could find on here. It looked like looks like it was maybe probably um taken from a VHS and pieced together. Um but it is what it is. We got the gist of it. But yeah. So you know I think everyone knows by now what what gave her such superstardom that 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 driven power that iconicness that she's known for like being a legend was because she lost her mother and like she said when you look when you have something taken away from you that you love dearly at a very young age you're going to be rebellious and you're going to strive for harder things and then having a father who in who is a disciplinarian and um, pushes you to get good grades in school and everything they collaborate together and they push you they lift you up with all the pain and the glory but that was a great little interview from CBS for Evita um, promotion 1996 hope you guys enjoyed that reaction video and stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day. Love you all out there. Bye-bye.